Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on uh, two more enemy response types. So the first one is let me enable a silencer and jam this alarm tower. When I do that, we stand up. Right, see, it's jammed. He says it's jammed, and after a while, going to take a look. And also, if I kill him, he's dead. See, the other guy see the dead body and says he's dead. So, those are the two enemy responses. Now he's also searching the area. So, those are the two enemy responses that I'm going to work on today. Alright, now so far we have implemented uh, enemy vocal responses, so buttons for when they hear a sound, uh, like a whistle sound, or when they hear like a major disturbance, like an explosion, or a shooting sound. So now, um, and also when they detect the player too, they have, I have defined vocal responses. Now I'm gonna define a response for something like this. So if i uh let me play if i equip a silent pistol and shoot oh it's hard to shoot okay see now the enemy see that and going to take a look oh wait why isn't he going to take a look mm, I think it has to do with the place that we spawn the perceivable object so this is 200 let me just make it 20 so character should be able to easily see that now let me enable okay right all right now he should go and check yeah search in the area he's going to the location mm -hmm. so this is the response we get so instead of uh, like uh, first i need to have something like uh, some response like uh, who broke this what happened to this that kind of a response so how do we do that so for that again um this is what happens here so when i break the alarm box we spawn this uh, perceivable actor and this is uh, this can be perceived by the enemy so this is the way that i implemented uh, this is how i implemented dead bodies uh, detections also so i uh, let's see i should have implemented it blueprints character logic ai let's open the ai controller it okay so on c target actor and here we check um the threat level so yeah here we have perceivable type and we have dead body wow yeah that's the only type available here so let's see let's add some more perceivable types rather than just dead body 
that should be here. Okay, we have none and we have dead body. We have jammed. Wait, let's see. Jammed machinery. So this we this could be anything. It could be alarm or it could be a generator. It could be a light. Anything. So I'll just say jammed machinery. And when we spawn here. I'll set oh we don't really have a way to set this uh, perceivable type because I'm just returning dead body here we don't really have a parameter so let's promote this to a variable perceivable type right now I'll change yeah by default it's dead body so here I'll set perceivable type to jammed machinery and in the AI controller now I have, now I have Two outputs did uh, actually three with none dead body and jam machine so now we need to make an appropriate uh, respond for that let's go to the bug types and I'll add mm, dead body because that is also something we're gonna need down the line and jam machinery okay uh, and uh, in our NPC character We have box let me add here dead body and jam machinery so for the dead body who killed is dead And uh, somebody, um, that's too long. Or maybe just this two would be enough. And for the jam machinery, I'll add it's jammed. Who broke? Who broke? Oh, who broke this? What happened to that? Or oh, something like, oh, not again, because it's something that has happened previously. Okay, now in here, mm -hmm. let's get control. Talk. With 
uh, for the dead body obviously dead body for the giant machinery giant machinery that's it all right uh now let's check Enable silencer so that he don't hear me shooting. Oh, he didn't say anything. Why? Let's see. Ah, uh, wait, why well, it's not saying anything? Hey, uh, okay, we should not have overwrite this. We don't need to overwrite, so it returns none. That should be the case. Hey, let's check again. Ah, see. Who broke this? I'm gonna check. Alright, that's enough. Mm, we still get this dead body scene because I have this print over here that I added previously for debugging purposes, so we don't need it anymore. Okay, um, now let's check for a dead body too. For that we need someone who would notice when a character is dead. So I'll make this guy randomly move so that he might see if I kill this guy okay he's over there now let's kill him see he's dead he immediately saw that sweep in the area check again he was already looking at the character so we didn't really have a chance to let's wait till he goes somewhere else see he's dead okay so with that I got I implemented two more responses box so yeah with that I'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye